Hey guys, it's Shy, and welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, my name is Shaika Plazir. Nom se Shaika Plazir, et ça c'est Chanel moi. And we are outside. And you guys see outside, the weather is so nice. Oh my gosh, I love Miami. But if this is your first time watching me, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Si ça c'est première fois que vous regardez Chanel ça, abonnez avec Chanel là tout. So for today, as you guys already know, we will be speaking about healthy vocal cords versus unhealthy vocal cords, okay? So, in this video, I will compare cord vocal that is in health and cord vocal that is not in health. So, first and foremost, I'm going to tell you the difference between healthy vocal cords versus unhealthy vocal cords. So, to start off, healthy vocal cords sound clear. Cord vocal that is in health has a sound that is clear. So le wap ali so on clear, le wap chante so on clear. Basically, for healthy vocal cords, when you are speaking, when you are singing, your tone, your voice is clear. It's very clear. Okay. Now for unhealthy vocal cords, unhealthy vocal cords, the sound is not clear. Sometimes people don't know what you're saying, or you just sound raspy all the time. Now, second thing for healthy vocal cords and unhealthy vocal cords, healthy vocal cords are not in pain. They don't feel like they're straining. Your vocal cords doesn't feel like it's straining. Cord vocal qui en santé, pas gain douleur là-dedans, pas gain douleur là-dedans. Okay? So, le wa parler, le wa chanter, ou pas senti douleur dans gorge. Vocal cords that are healthy do not have pain when you're talking, when you're speaking, whether or not, you know, you're just using your voice, there's no pain. However, for unhealthy vocal cords, there is pain. So you can feel like as if your throat is tight, or you can feel discomfort, or you could feel you could feel like it hurts a lot. And it may not even be a lot. You just feel pain when you speak or sing. Okay? So cord vocal ki pa ansate, ou ka santi toko cord vocal la fer mal, ou bien ou santi le wa pale ou bien chante, ou santi toko uncomfortable. Goj lan pa ansate. Okay? Depi ou esim sa yo, sa vle dire ke cord vocal ou pa ansate. Now, now I'm going to tell you guys and show you the visual aspect. I'm going to tell you guys and show you the visual aspect of healthy vocal cords versus unhealthy vocal cords. For healthy vocal cords, healthy vocal cords are supposed to look white, okay? They're supposed to look white and the folds are supposed to close. They're supposed to close. There's not supposed to be anything in between that's preventing it from closing. It's supposed to look white and it is supposed to close. Unhealthy vocal cords are not white and you'll see that vocal cords are having a tough time closing. You'll see that there's either something in between depending on what disorder you have. Now I'm gonna show you what healthy vocal cords look like. This is what healthy vocal cords look like. Now this is what unhealthy vocal cords look like. And that's my vocal cords. Well, that was my vocal cords. I'm still in the process, you know, still recovering, but that was my vocal cords when I first got it checked out. It was pink, pinkish and red. Vocal cords are supposed to be white because there's limited blood supply. It's supposed to be white. My vocal cords are pink. And not only are they pink, red blood vessels started to seep in. You could see little streaks if you really zoom in. Aside from that, they were inflated. They were pink. Red vessels started to seep in. And then, fourth thing that happened too, is that in between, you could see that the vocal cords do not close, if you're looking at it. The vocal cords do not close. There's two twin nodules that's stopping it from closing. That's the difference between healthy vocal cords and unhealthy vocal cords. Cord vocal qui en santé, le wap gade photo an, fok cord vocal sa blan. Parce que pa gen san ki ta doué ap entre non cord vocal. Il fok li kapap ferme kon sa. Cord vocal qui pa en santé, ou ka wè koule an rose, bien li gen ti rouge la dan, et pi ou ka wè ki kul enfle, et pi ou kapap wè ke ou wè si san kap entre la dan. Et pour qu'on voit que les pas fermés. Bon bagage dans le temps qui a fait que le protocole n'a pas fermé. 
so ma montre une photo, une photo qui compare le code vocal qui est en santé. Ça, c'est qui j'ai un code vocal qui est en santé. Ça. Et puis, ça, c'est qui j'ai un code vocal qui n'est pas en santé. Ça. Le code vocal, ça, que ouais, qui pas en santé, ça, c'est le code vocal. Ça. So, là où ou là ou senti que on confortable ou à chanter ou bien parler pas penser que pas prendre ça tant que y a bagage qui est léger ça c'est un bagage pour aller checker nos docteurs pour voir que tout bagage a performé normalement parce que vous pas voulez retourner à la dernière minute pour voir ce qui ça a passé dans code vocal OK prends soin code vocal prends soin code vocal OK and i would love to tell all my teachers all my singers all my teachers, all my singers, all my speakers, those who are working in the call centers. It is imperative, it is important, it is super, super, super important that you go to get your vocal cords checked out regularly. Go to the ENT, it's not gonna hurt you, just go to the ENT because you don't know what is going on in your vocal cords. Most of the people that get vocal damage are singers, teachers, call center operators yes it's not just singers people who use their voice so often on a daily basis are the ones who get caught with those issues without even realizing it so don't take that as something lightly if you're one of those people that fall into that category don't be scared to go to get it checked out okay so someone qui un professeur ou bien au travail non au travail non côté que faire appel et on va parler en pile, on check les codes vocales parce que on pas connaître ça qui a passé là-dedans. Il y a une technique là à parler. Même là, on va chanter, il y a une technique derrière là à parler. Donc, so, fais sûr que tu checkes ça pour qu'on soit capable de santé et pour qu'on capable témoigner dans le danger de la vie. Donc, so, make sure that you do that. Get yourself checked out because at the end of the day, as Christians, especially if we're Christian, we have to make an impact. So, we have to be healthy when we're making that impact in our voice. We can't preach to people. We can't sing to people. We can't talk to people without healthy vocal cords. You know, there's only so long you can talk and preach and sing to people with unhealthy vocal cords. You can only go like that with unhealthy vocal cords for so long. So don't be scared to go to the doctor. Don't be scared to get, get it checked out. And at the end of the day, trust that God is a healer. By his stripes, you are healed. And I'm trusting him too for my process. It's not easy, but I do see progress and I trust him and I believe that in the end, it'll all work out for me. So I just wanted to share those tips with you guys really quick, just to give you guys a, you know, a tip. And for the next video, it's gonna be a Q&A session. For the video that we're going to do, we're going to question and réponse. So I'm going to answer the question that we're going to do. So if we have a question, we're going to put it in the comments for the video that we're going to do for the next video. Okay? So I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to do a little bit like this video and to subscribe to our channel. We're going to do a little bit and that's what we're going to do. God bless you guys. Peace.